Well, welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd go over a program that you may have heard of um, but it's actually been prevalent in a couple of distributions um, and I haven't really seen much of it in uh, in Manjaro but there is an arch package that will give you this particular program and you might find find you might find it to be useful now within peppermint 6 um, they use the package uh, called ice and uh, you've heard me mention this before it's a package that creates site specific browsers so if you wanted to have an icon on your desktop or in your taskbar or in your dock for a particular uh, let's say browser location like YouTube, Facebook, things like that, you can create that link, that launcher, using ICE. Now, uh, Apricity, the uh, distribution that I previewed or I reviewed last week, they also use the ICE package. So, you may find it useful because it it's I have tried it in a few different distributions um, and within Manjaro it seems to work fine if you're in a K uh, if you're in an XFC uh, CE or LXDE desktop but whatever desktop you're using um, it would be worth giving it a try to see if it's something that you might get some benefit from so the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to install the package now let's see it is called uh, ice-ssb you can get it through yawert and if you uh, type yawert dash s ice ssb uh, and then press enter it will go through the building process doesn't take long and when you're done you will have the ice package now once you have that ice package and I will bring up that ice package it'll be under your internet tab there it is so all you do is once you have the menu up um, you're gonna decide which which uh, application or which which launcher you'd like to create now let me go into my file manager because I have a folder of icons for some of the launches that I've created in the past and what I did was I created these icons so that I could have a decent looking looking icon in my menu or on my desktop so you could use this to create a launcher for Dropbox Google Plus Netflix uh, all of the um, Microsoft um, online office applications would be uh, would be something you could create for example OneNote Excel calendar OneDrive Outlook Word you could create it for YouTube and Twitter and Netflix so let's see we'll, what we'll do is we'll go through creating one of the uh, launchers so you'll have a, an idea of how it's done first thing is you need to create or select a name so for example if we want um, if we want let's do uh, Netflix Okay, so if we do Netflix, that's the name. The web address is usually something like www.netflix.com. Now, you can select where you want that uh, application to uh, be loaded within your menu so since these are internet applications typically and since they're site specific browser oriented um, internet is the uh, default category but you could select any one of these for example let's say you you uh, set up Microsoft Word you might want to put it under office 
but we're going now we can put uh, Netflix under sound and video okay so you can select an icon or you can use the site favicon now uh, since I have an icon here that I'm going to use I'll select that and then basically all you do is go to that folder and let's see that was in my downloads folder and so I'm going to use this Netflix okay so I double click that icon in my folder and it ends up here now you can select the browser you'd like it to activate through so when you after this is created you can either have it activate in a Chrome window a Chromium window or a Firefox window so I believe I have Firefox loaded uh, let's see uh, it doesn't look like I have it there so I'm going to so it's and it's actually grayed out since I don't have it so I'll have it go into Chrome so once I select my browser I click apply everything blanks out for you to create another one or you can just close it out now once I go to my uh, let's see well yeah it ended up in multimedia now you can see it's here without an icon but if you click on it it just requires that you now you can you can move this window around you can make it any size you want and all you have to do is sign in and you're at your Netflix now once I've configured this if I close it out and I go to open it again in multimedia it should sign me right into my account and it does so now you've got that shortcut set up to go directly to Netflix now let's see what happens if I click that and add to desktop okay now see how it put Netflix there but it doesn't have the appropriate icon right click that go into properties uh, click launcher Okay, click permissions and make sure this is checked. Allow this file to run as a program. Then you can click that icon, go to your downloads folder, in my case it's the downloads folder, and then select that icon. And as you can see, it places it now. So you may have to, have to do that icon selection in a two-step process but it's fairly easy once you add it to your desktop just right click it make sure that box is checked to allow the file to run as a program go back to general click on the icon go to your file or your folder where your icons are and select it and it'll show up I'll close that out it's on my desktop I double click it and I am into my Netflix and as you can see it's uh, it's a Chrome window but it doesn't look anything like your normal Chrome browser because it's dedicated to this one particular site it's a site specific browser window and as I said you can use that for any internet address pretty much so if you want to create an icon to any website that you go to or any um, of your uh, social media websites Pinterest or anything like that you can do that so I hope you enjoyed uh, that that guys I wasn't sure if you were aware of it uh, that there is an application available to use within Arch or Manjaro um, or any Arch flavor 
um, just load up the program as I showed you and configure it and off you go you'll have that working in no time so I hope you enjoyed that guys uh, please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care